Not all after-school programs are the same. Wonderland Education proves that by letting the kids choose the programs they want. Star City's Dave North has that story. Experiential learning is an engaged learning process where students learn by doing. That's the philosophy behind the curriculum at Wonderland Education Center. These programs are really meant for kids to not just sit in a desk and watch the teacher do these projects. We want the, the kids to have the program in their hands in creating. The students not only take a hands-on approach to learning, they're also included in selecting the classes that will be offered. Science, technology classes, 3D printing, robotics, we're offering uh, K-pop dance classes, art, painting classes, self-defense. So it's programs that kids can pick, programs that we know kids are interested in. Wonderland Education offers after-school classes for students in grades 2 through 12. Goodman says class sizes are small by design to keep everyone engaged. If a student's having a problem, it's easier to manage with 10 kids. Also, the kids can be together and really get to know each other in um, a smaller space because they're helping each other out. We really focus on peer engagement. We want kids to make friends. We want them to um, also use each other for support. Students helping each other lets the teacher engage with students who may need a little extra help. It also boosts the students' confidence in themselves. In the classes that we've had, the kids are walking around, they're talking to each other. Hey, I'm having a problem with this. How did you make that? Oh, that's cool. So we're really excited about the kids being able to be together after school, be excited about something, and then work on a project together. The center also offers free education classes on Tuesdays with the West Lafayette Police and Fire Departments and IU Health Arnett Hospital. Online registration is happening right now. Classes start January 10th. Sign up at wonderland.coursestorm.com. Dave North, Star City News, West Lafayette.